Jenny's basketball on the court for the first time in 2017 and on the road for an MIAA matchup at Fort Hayes State. UCM gets a little lead in the first quarter, five points, but the home team takes it away after hitting three three-pointers in a row. Jill Faxon with the last one and the Tigers are on top 12 to 10. At the end of the first, Hayes leads 17 to 12. In the second quarter, that lead grows. Tigers take it out to 10 points, then 17 with about 30 seconds to the break. At halftime, the Gens are down 39 to 22. The third quarter ends up being pretty even. UCM scored 15 points, Fort Hayes scored 16, though with about a minute on the clock, the Tigers had a 22-point lead off another three-pointer. They would go on to hit 10 in the game. But listen to what happens in the fourth quarter. The Jennies go on a 21-4 run. Hayes goes almost five minutes without a score at all. And with six minutes still to play, a triple from Megan Skaggs at the top of the key erases a double-digit lead for Hayes. It's now 57-49. 3.46 on the clock when Paige Redmond drains another three-pointer. It's now a five-point game, 59-54. to But in the final three minutes of this one, the Tigers are going to make eight free throws, and the Gens just can't score enough to finish the comeback. Central Missouri fights back, but falls to Fort Hayes in Hayes, 69-59. to That breaks a 10-game win streak. The Tigers scored 18 points off turnovers, and the bench helped out with 29 points. Redmond led the Jennies with 22 points. Morgan Fleming had a double-double of 14 points and 12 rebounds. Skaggs scored 11, and Ashley Duffy pulled down 11 rebounds. UCM is now 10-2 on the season, 3-1 in the MIAA. The road trip continues Saturday at Nebraska Kearney. Reporting for UCMAthletics.com, I'm Katie Smith.